everyone, today's video is going to be an update on my 101 Disney Project Pan Roulette Blitz thing. Um, so I am drawing five new products every single month, but first I'm going to give you an update on the 24 products I was looking working on last month. And the goal is I'm going to keep doing this until I use up 101 items. So before today, I had used up 11, and I now have two more empties. So for Alexander in the No Good, Horrible, Awful, Very Bad Day, I had the Torina Tarantino Doll Skin Eye Primer. And I did go ahead and completely use this guy up, so that's done. And then for the second one was Newsies, and I had the Urban Decay Ozone Lip Liner. And I realized that there is still a little bit left in here, but this part of the pencils twists. If I don't know if you can appreciate that um, because my camera's not very good, but it twists. So if I put it in the... Um, pencil sharpener I can't sharpen it anymore and I even tried to use like tweezers to sharpen it and it just wasn't working so I used it until um I mean I used it as far down as I could as you can see there um so I'm calling it quits for this guy as well so that is two empties so I now have 13 empties in this product in this project excuse me so now I'm going to start uh with the items that I already have so for Dumbo I had the Sonia Kashuk nail color and it was right at Kashuk, and now you can see it's below Kashuk, so it is right here. Um, so I have been using it a lot, it's on my toes right now. I've been really good about painting my nails lately, which is good because it means I'm getting more progress. And that does weigh the same, it still weighs 44 grams. So next I have the Physician's Formula, or for the movie Frank and Weenie, I have the Physician's Formula Concealer 101, this green shade right here. And I have made more progress. So you can see it's completely used up over here. I think it's getting a lot thinner. It does, it actually gained weight. It was 51 grams last time it was 50 and now it's 51 again. So whatever that means. Um, but there we go. I'm, I'm using it. Um, that's gonna take me a very long time to use up for sure because I don't have that many red spots and I only use that on red spots. As far as the Dumbo one, I mean, I'm, I'm hopeful about using it up. I've gotten, a significant amount of use on it and it is harder and harder to get out so maybe next month maybe the month after um then we have Rushmore and for Rushmore I have the Besame Cosmetics uh, Snow White Cream Blush this still weighs 18 grams so it weighs the same but this pan has grown a little bit so I do have some nice pan in there I'm happy with that for sure all right so that's gonna last me forever. Uh, cream blushes don't go through. I don't. At least I don't go through cream blushes that flat, fast. But I wear it every day, so you know that's all I can do. Then I've got Beverly Hills Chihuahua. This guy is so frustrating because I only use eyeliner on my um, like lower lash line, not the lash lines, but like the waterline. Thank you. That's what I'm trying to think of. Um, and I have this much left, but I don't like to sharpen it very much, and I don't want to sharpen it just for the sake of sharpening it. So I've got this much left, just this little weeny thing. It's frustrating. Um, it's probably got one or two more sharpens left. I don't know, maybe next month. I feel like I say that every month and I just keep expecting it to go and it hasn't yet. So there you go. For Howl's Moving Castle, I have the Galactic Beauty Chic Shine. This still weighs 26 grams, so it hasn't lost any weight. But I do feel like I have um, you know, expanded that pan nicely. And hopefully you can tell that even around the sides, it's not built up near as high as it was before. It's a lot more smooth all around. So I got some really good use out of that. I'm happy with that. Again, I use it as a cream highlighter every day. So next for Civil Action, I have this Sinful Colors nail polish in the shade Hottie. And you can, it was above Sinful Colors last time and now it's below it. Now the bottle is getting bigger. So it's gonna probably take a little bit longer. Again, this one is getting harder and harder to use. I have to use it like this. I can't use it this way. Um, and then this polish takes like three coats, so it takes more nail polish than the other ones. I don't have on any of these polishes today um, because of for my weekly product pan, I drew the Sally Hansen polish, so I'm wearing that now. That's in Mint Sorbet, if you were wondering. So I'm not wearing any of these, but I have been besides today. So I'm excited with that. I think I've made really nice progress on my nail polishes. Next for Outrageous Fortune. Yeah, that's where I am. I have the Besame Cosmetics Snow White Ever After Translucent Powder. This has lost weight. It went from 48 grams to 46 grams. 
And y'all, I'm so close to finishing this up. I just have it around the edges. I don't repress products because I, well, I know how I've seen videos, but you have to add alcohol to repress them and I already have dry skin, so I don't want to play with that. And I also, um, like a lot of times, or not a lot, sometimes when you repress things, they don't repress as well as they should, or they don't do the same, so I'm just going to use it up. I am very confident this should be finished by next month. Um, so you can see on these signs, there's like barely anything. But I really like this powder. It's a great powder. I have it on today. Next, for Hello Again, I have the Epic Blends uh, Hemp Raspberry and Pomegranate Lip Balm. And this has lost a gram. It went from 9 grams to 8 grams. I rolled it all the way down, and it is right here. So I do have some good progress on it. Um, but it's going to take me a really long time to use it. I do come in. I use it before I like put on makeup every morning. And then like throughout the day, if I'm home, I come in and like we apply it. So I have been using it a decent amount. But, you know, lip balms, they take forever. So then for the Good Dinosaur, yep, I have the Victoria's Secret Nail Polish. Again, this was an Envied. It was above Victoria, and now it is right here. So some more progress. I really have I've enjoyed pairing these two together, but these two chip immediately. This one specifically will just like completely come off my entire nail. I don't know why, because um, I don't have that problem with other polishes. This one also chips really quickly like within a day, which is one of the reasons why I have so much use out of these products, because I have to reapply my nail polish so often. So I don't love that, but you know, we're getting through them. Uh, but I do have good progress, and that one... Uh, lost two grams. It went from 55 grams to 53. It's a heftier polish, I think, because of all that glitter. And it is really glittery on the nails, so that's that's nice. Then we have Ernest Scared Stupid. And for that, I have this Lorac True Beauty Lip Gloss. I, I can't really, like, it didn't settle, and I haven't been using this, but it doesn't really settle down. As far as weight goes, um, it went from 32 grams to 31 grams. I do have it on today. I like this lip gloss. It's really comfortable. It's not sticky at all, um, but it doesn't last super long time like most lip glosses don't. So I do really like this one, um, and I'm getting some use out of it, but I can't give you any visual updates, which is frustrating, I know, but that's what I got for you. And then for Hot Lead Cold Feet, I have the Urban Decay Ammo Palette, and I have the shade Shattered which is right here. I have this all over my lid today. A lot of times on my lid, I feel like it looks a lot more green where it looks more blue in the pan. I do obviously have some pan on it and I have grown it. I use this in my crease sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't look so good. I don't know, I haven't been really happy with a lot of my eye looks lately, which I don't like because eyeshadow is my favorite. Um, so today maybe I'll be, depending on what I draw, I might incorporate some more palettes in just so I can have some more options, but shattered right here. There we go. Then, for the Avengers, I have the Guerlain Meteorites. I use this every day as like my final step. I kind of just brush it all over my face. Um, we still got a good many, many guys. We weigh the same. It still weighs 82 grams. I use, like I said, I use it every day. It smells really nice. I love these. I can tell a difference. I know they're bougie and really expensive, but I can truly tell a difference when I have these on versus when I don't. Um, it just kind of like melds all my cheek makeup together and makes it look a lot more natural and kind of blended. And I just, I just really like it. So I recommend those. For real steel, I have the Pacifica eyeliner in gunmetal. I have this on today. I don't have the Sonia Kashuk one. This one again, I don't have to sharpen that much, so. It's small, but I know it's gonna last me a long time. I need to not really buy pencil eyeliners, or at least not buy like a black or a brown. And I, I mean, I'm on a no buy anyway, and I haven't bought eyeliners in a while. But I like a, like a, a light color or something, just to kind of zhuzh up your look. But I'm just, I'm just working on them, because they're lasting me forever. Oh, and I wanted to say, after I finished up the what do you call it? The eye primer. I did try to use both of these as all over lid, um, like a cream shadow. They did not work well. Not at all. It was not pretty. So I tried, but it didn't, it didn't do, do for me. For Fantasia, I have the Sesh Beat Fast Dry Top Coat. Um, I think this has made a little bit of progress. Every time I do my nails, I use this. Um, 
So, you know, it's just going to go as fast as it goes. It's about halfway done. Now, I know that it does get gloopy, um, you know, when you're like three quarters of the way done. So, I guess I'll just use it until it's just gross and I can't use it anymore. Um, but that one lost a gram. It went from 54 grams to 53 grams. Then I have the Race to Witch Mountain. And for that, let me grab it. I have the Urban Decay Glitter Liner. I think I marked it a little high. I have a mark on the back, um, but I didn't mark it last time, so that doesn't really help you. But I have this glitter liner on today. This liner, I feel like it's really packed with glitter, and I've, I've used it like on the outside of my wing. I've used it as a liner itself. I really, really like this stuff. It's, you know, it's gonna take me forever to use it up because I don't wanna use it every day. I don't wanna get to the point where I'm using it so much I don't enjoy it, but I have it on today. Obviously, you can hopefully tell, and I really like it. I think it's pretty, so I'm happy with that. But like I said, that still weighs 20 grams, hasn't lost any weight. For Three Men and a Baby, I have the Too Faced palette, and I have the shade White Peach. I use this as a brow bone highlight. I don't set my eyeshadow or my eye primer because um, I haven't really felt like I needed to. So, you know, there you go. I don't get as much use out of as other people. There might be a slight dent. I've used it every day I have on makeup. I have it on my brow bone and then right down the middle of my nose. I don't like a shimmery highlight on like down my nose but I do like a little bit of a highlight to make my nose look skinnier. So I have that. Um, that's gonna be in here for a while. I use up eyeshadows really slowly. I know people like just power through them. I'm not that person. I don't know why, um, but that still weighs 210 grams. But with both of those palettes, I haven't just been using that palette. I've been getting a lot of use out of all of the shades in the palette, which is good. You know, I like that for sure. Then for Apocalypto, I have the Milani Fast Dry Top Coat, or, or not Top Coat, Nail Polish. I am right here. I can finally see through it, um, but it's really hard to see. I don't think you'll be able to, but I'm pretty near the top. This one does last pretty well on my nails. I wish it wasn't black. Like, you know, I, I randomly drew this in my weekly product pan, and I really enjoyed this color. I feel like it's really spring appropriate, whereas a lot of these colors I feel like are not, but... I'm gonna use them and get a lot of use out of them until they're gone. That's the plan. So then for Flubber, I have the Ipkin New York Color Correcting Primer in green. This has lost weight. It went from 11 grams to five grams. I am so close to finishing this up. This will without a doubt be finished by next time. Um, Cause I'm like, you know, trying to squeeze it and just get the last little bit out. I like it fine. But I do feel like it does not help my makeup last at all. I was previously using the YSL Touche Clot Filler Primer, and my makeup lasted so well with that, and with this, it does not. So I would not purchase it again, but I'm gonna use it up, and like I said, I probably have less than a week left of that. Then for Remember the Titans, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I, I feel like there's like two lines. So there's this line, but then there's also this line, so I don't know where I am. I'm gonna say I'm here, but I could be wrong. Um, but I've been using it a lot. I like this, it's not a super high coverage as something I would maybe like, but it doesn't sink into my fine lines and stuff, so it's good. Um, but that one, I don't believe where, oh it did, it lost a gram, so that's really good. For my, um, what was it, Summer of Sam, I chose the English Laundry Perfume. It was about here, and now it's, you know, right at that Y, so that's good. It's lost two grams, so I like that. Showing, again, just that I have some progress. And I really like this perfume. It smells good, and it's, you know, going. So, I don't know what else to say about that, besides it's going and I'm liking it. Then, lastly, I have D2, the Mighty Ducks. And for that, I have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. This is still going really well, though I do... Can you see the tip is starting to kind of go off to the side a little bit? So it's getting harder to um, get my wing is you know as sharp as I like. But I have it on today and I like it. Um, and whenever I want a wing liner, I go for this. Though I don't wear this every day because I don't wing liner every day. So 22 items. I know that was a long update, but we're gonna add in five more. There we go. Because oh wait, I skipped one. I don't know how I did that. The movie is Tombstone, and I have the, for the Tombstone, I have the Orly Bonder Rubberized Based Coat, 
um, and I am obviously like right here. Before I was a little bit higher up. Similar to the Sesh Beat, I use this every single time I paint my nails. It's the only base coat I have. So I'm getting some use out of it. And it did lose a gram. It went from 57 grams to 56 grams. So you can tell that I'm getting some use out of it, which, you know, is the goal. Makes me happy. Um, but that'll last a long time. It seems like a lot of these I'm not going to have finished up next month. I feel like... So I, I add in five products every month. The goal was to have, like, a lot of those rolled out so that... I didn't have a huge project, but that's not happening so much. So now I have 22 items I'm painting, and I'm about to add in five more. So I'm on the D23 website to have a list of every Disney movie. So we have 1 to 740. 505. So I think what that means is that I need to put in some easier items. This is from 2003, and it's called Ghosts of the Abyss. I have no idea what that is. No idea. Um, but it's white. Ghosts are white, I mean. Um, so, I think I'm going to pull out a lip liner because I'm not using a lip liner right now. And I have this one. That is white. Um, predominantly white, at least. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in. This is the Model Co. lip liner. I don't know what shade it's in. But it's long. Um, but I like to use a lip liner every day, so I know I'll get some good use out of that. Though I was just saying how I need to probably choose an easy item, and this one will not be gone next week or next month. That's for dang sure. But that's okay. Oh. So then we're going to generate a new item. 34. So we're going back up to the top, to the classics. Doop, doop. 34. Johnny Tremaine. It's from 1957. I don't know what that is. I feel like there are so many of these movies um, that I don't know at all. Um, John is my boyfriend's name, and he likes it when I wear blue eyeshadow. But I already have blue eyeshadow in here, so I don't really want to put in a blue eyeshadow. Um, his favorite color is green, though. And I've been wanting to put in a green eyeshadow, and I know which one I want to put in. Even though, <laughs> again, it's not going to uh, be gone very quickly. Let me back up. This green is my favorite green that I own. So this is from the um, Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass. I very recently did a video of every single green shadow I owned and I swatched them all. So I can link that below if you're interested. If you're like, hey, I want to see some green shadows. This shade, Hatter. So I already have pan in it, but I know that there's a lot more. How big are these pans? 1.3 grams and they're very hard pressed. But... I have pan in one and we'll just keep it going until I completely use it up. So I don't have a goal of hitting pan on any of these for everything. It's to use it up because I want at the end of this project to have 101 items out of my collection. So that's two of the five items I'm going to choose today. 56 is the next one. 56 is Babes in Toyland. Oh, that's a Christmas movie. I've seen that. Um... And they go to Toyland, Toyland. I haven't seen it in a really long time, so I don't remember everything that happens. But I do know that. And so I know it's like toys, obviously. Um, what can we do for toys? Hmm. That's a hard one. I know I need a new foundation in here, but I don't really feel like foundation works with toys. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. That one's hard. Babes in Toyland, right? Yeah. So, I think I'm going to do, like, babies wear white again. That's what I did for two men's and a baby. Or because their diapers are white, you know? Um, so, something that has white packaging. I don't need any cheap products. Well, that's not true. I need this contour, but I, that doesn't work for babies either. So, something with white packaging. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. I will choose this guy. This is one of my Mally Evercolor water sticks. And I really like these. Um, I have this on today, actually. And I think these are just the best cream eyeshadows. So I have that much. Which I realize is quite a bit. Um, it'll take me a long time. But these are the best eyeshadow bases. They last forever. And there you go. Super beautiful and, and gold. So I will go ahead and... Um, Try to use that up. Cancel. 
All right, let's generate another new one. 701, so to a more recent movie. This is gonna change a lot too because Disney just bought Fox, just bought Fox so this list is gonna increase. 701 is from 2015 and it's ABCD2. No idea what that is, never heard of that. Never not once heard of that. Um, but ABCD is like the basics to me. It's like starting from the ground, you know, when you're learning to read. So I think for this one, I can pull out a foundation. And I'm going to choose the Dr. Jart BB Beauty Balm right here, um, the gold label one. I really like this. This is my oldest foundation. I don't know how much is in here. Um, I don't, but I know I really like the way it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use that guy up. And it's got BB, like ABCD. So that works. And then let me generate one more. Oh, generate one more. 316. For 316, the movie is by Hollywood Pictures. It's from 1995, and it is called House Guest. So um, I've never seen that movie. I've never seen most of these movies. I'm kind of embarrassed by that, but that's okay. You know, what are you going to do? Um, so. Oh. Um, that reminds me of my sister. Whenever my sister comes, she uh, loves to play with my makeup because she has makeup, uh, but she doesn't have very much. So I always like do her makeup or we play with makeup. Um, so that could really be anything. But it does remind me also of my sister because she, I know I told you I already wanted to use this item, so it's not like a surprise. But she has really chubby cheeks um, and she never lets me contour them. And I always want to just like, not that there's anything wrong with having chubby cheeks, but just to see what it would look like, but she won't let me. So this is because Michelle won't let me, my house guest will not let me contour her cheeks, even though I would like her to. Um, so this is the Giorgio Armani A Contour. I recently did a product review of this throw it on the ground and I do really like it I think it's a great product um, but it's the only cream contour I own so I've been using it every day anyway so might as well put it in a project so five new items none of those are gonna be used up in a month I'm just gonna have a hundred and fifty items in here but you know I say that but I have uh, 13 empties so we're over 10% of the way um, of through this project so that's exciting I'm working on it um, and I'm having a good time, which is what's important. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And I'll just see you all real soon. Bye.